Hi guys and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel, we're talking about credit cards, points, finances and travel. If this is something that interests you, please like this video, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. When it comes to luxury credit cards, there are many products out there that are fighting to get our money. We're gonna exclude some gimmicky credit cards like uh, the MasterCard luxury black card and the gold and all those uh, expensive uh, gold plated or whatever gimmicky credit cards. Uh, I think if you're watching a channel like this, you know why we're doing this. Um, they're no good. Don't spend your hard earned money uh, on very high annual fees uh, that have uh, zero return. But what does make a luxury credit card? This is highly subjective, guys. Um, some might say that is the perks that they offer. Uh, some might say it's exclusivity. Some might say it's high annual fee. Some might say is uh, how recognizable they are and what kind of treatment you might get once you present a, a credit card like this. So really, um, it's a very subjective uh, subject. But I have to say that there's one credit card that every time I have uh, gone somewhere and they see it, um, you can see the response. And this is uh, not only my experience, but it's the experiences of uh, many people that own a bunch of different credit cards and uh, they tell me the same story. And this is true not only in the United States, but also uh, abroad, especially abroad I want to say uh, and this is because most people guys have no idea what a luxury credit card looks like um, I know that uh, I'm very surprised always of how little uh, people know about credit cards uh, their annual fees the possibilities uh, and all the um, little details that uh, you and I um, usually uh, pay attention to like the multipliers that being said there's only uh, three credit cards I have in my mind when I'm talking about credit cards. And keep in mind that I am somebody that reads a lot about credit cards. Um, therefore, uh, there are some credit cards that are much higher annual fee, but they're all invite only. So immediately we have to exclude them. Most people won't be able to get them anyway. I am excluding credit cards from banks uh, that um, people are not very familiar with, especially uh, abroad. So if you want to travel with style and enjoy, what credit card would you use uh, to impress? As you can see here, um, the, the two credit cards, uh, the Platinum and the Sapphire Reserve, uh, they have the highest annual fee of uh, the available credit cards that we can apply to, $550. Uh, we're not going to get into the details of the multipliers and uh, the ROIs. I put them here as a good reference uh, so you guys understand. Uh, and just to make it clear, the ROI here is calculated uh, by adding the bonus, the sign-up bonus, uh, the, the points that you're getting uh, to hit that minimum spend. Uh, on the highest multiplier that the card offers. And then uh, we subtract the annual fee and this is what we're left with. So as we can see here, if we were taking the ROI alone, the American Express Gold is probably the best credit card that you can get when it comes to point redemption um, out of the three. But I want to say that the American Express Gold is somewhat more, more accessible. Uh, so this is uh, a point that we have to take out of uh, the American Express Gold. The Platinum and the Sapphire Reserve are a little more exclusive, so they win points on, on that aspect. So somebody might be intrigued uh, when they see these credit cards, right? They, they, they're not uh, widely circulated. Um, now, at the same time, as you guys know, I have my Platinum for almost six months now, and the Gold, uh, almost eight months. Every time I go out, uh, I do not have the Sapphire uh, Reserve, I do have the Preferred. Um, and they look very similar and they're both metal cards. So if there was 
uh, a reaction on that credit card, I would know because most people don't even know the difference between the two. But I have to say, for that reason, the Sapphire Reserve is immediately out. When it comes to impressing someone, Chase Sapphire Reserve is really uh, nowhere to be found. I have the preferred that looks very similar to this. It's also a metal credit card. And every time I've gone out and given this credit card, they, nobody pays attention. There's no reaction whatsoever. Uh, there's, this has something to do with also American Express branding because American Express has all these luxury high-end credit cards with high annual fees, uh, including the black card, obviously. People have the perception that American Express, uh, all American Express products are higher end than everybody else. And this is something that um, I have gotten as feedback many times. So the Chase Sapphire Reserve is out. Then between the gold and the platinum, it's gotta be the platinum. It has better multipliers. It has, at least for the first six months with a current offer, bigger bonus, access to a bunch of uh, lounges. So yeah, it will give you a much better experience. There's no doubt. You're gonna get status with Hilton and Marriott. There's, I mean, the credit card speaks for itself, right? Uh, it's incredible credit card. So this is the best luxury credit card that you can get to be recognized and get reactions, right? No, it's the gold. Uh, I'm sorry to break that bubble of the American Express Platinum. I do have both. I do have the Platinum. I do have the gold. But what I said earlier about, uh, about American Express gold being widely circulated comparing to the Platinum is also its strength. People do recognize this credit card. The gold color is legendary. It does have a high annual fee which means that uh, people know you're paying some good money for this credit card. And because they have seen it a few times, they know what it is. On top of that, once you travel internationally, you will see that the platinum is something that very, very few people know about. If few people know in the United States, outside the United States, almost nobody knows the platinum unless they're into the credit card game or uh, somehow they got that credit card. But the gold, it's something that everybody knows. It's instantly recognizable everywhere in the world. So if I had to have one credit card uh, to impress, to keep every day in my wallet and feel like a million dollars, even though I don't have a million dollars, that's why I don't have the black, obviously, <laughs> it would be the gold. But as I said before, at the beginning of the video, this is highly subjective. It really depends on who you're talking, what country you're visiting, uh, what place you're visiting, and what you value. If a positive reaction is in your list, then you can go wrong with the American Express Gold. Uh, it's the cheapest of the high-end credit cards and yet gets the most reaction. Let me know your experiences. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, ciao.